I don't want to speculate on what actions the Iranian regime might take, but I will say, as the secretary has said repeatedly, no one benefits from any kind of retaliation. And what we've been engaged on uh, is intensive diplomacy with allies and partners um, who uh, are helping us communicate that message uh, to the region, um, uh, including directly to uh, Iran. And a number of ways in which we're doing that is through, of course, some of the counterpart calls that you have seen um, the secretary participate in over uh, not just yesterday, Yesterday, but over the past uh, uh, two weeks now. Uh, we're also communicating this message directly uh, to Israel and uh, also reiterating that our commitment to Israel's security is ironclad and will continue to defend Israel against attacks from Iran and Iran-backed terrorist groups, just as we'll continue to defend uh, American personnel. Uh, but everyone in the region should understand that further attacks only perpetuate conflict, instability, and insecurity for everyone. And so what we're focused on uh, is intensively on uh, de escalation through diplomacy. The Department of Defense continues to closely monitor the situation in the Middle East. As you've heard Secretary Austin say, the U.S. remains intensely focused on de-escalating tensions in the region, while also remaining focused on securing a ceasefire as part of a hostage deal to bring all of the hostages home and to end the war in Gaza. Now, during a phone call on Sunday to Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant, the Secretary reiterated the United States' commitment to take every possible step to defend Israel and noted the strengthening of U.S. military force posture and capabilities throughout the Middle East in light of escalating regional tensions. Reinforcing this commitment, Secretary Austin ordered the USS Abraham Lincoln Carrier Strike Group, equipped with F-35C fighters, to accelerate its transit to the Central Command Area of Responsibility, adding to the capabilities already provided by the USS Theodore Roosevelt Carrier Strike Group. Additionally, the Secretary ordered the USS Georgia Guided Missile Submarine to the Central Command Region. These U.S. military force posture adjustments are designed to improve U.S. force protection to increase our support for the defense of Israel and to ensure the United States is prepared to respond to a wide variety of contingencies. During their call, Secretary Austin and Minister Gallant also discussed Israel's operations in Gaza and the importance of mitigating civilian harm, progress towards securing a ceasefire and the release of hostages held in Gaza, and our efforts to deter aggression by Iran, Lebanese Hezbollah, and other Iran-aligned groups across the region.